Hi guys, it's Arnie here, and this is another Alliance War. So there is no Alliance quest, and this is a new war, and we're currently on winning streak, and the mini boss is going to be Deep of Immune Magic, and the boss is Mephesto, so I decided to bring my A-team, Star-Lord, Iceman, and Voodoo, Star-Lord for Mephesto, Iceman for uh, Peps, and Voodoo for Magic, so, because I don't have Blade, so currently Voodoo is the only one who can handle Magic on Deep of Immune mode. So we're starting with Quake, and Quake, she's a pretty easy champion to handle. Uh, one thing you need to know, that you need to evade her special. So what I'm trying usually to do is, is push her to level 2, it's much easier to evade. Also this node is pretty cool node, if you have willpower you just will gain power once you have health, once you get one power bar. Pretty fast fight, and we're moving on to the section number 2. So there are no many fights in section number 1. And let's move, my pep is number 9, and in this pep we have Nightcrawler, we have Spider-Man, and we have Agent Venom. So, pretty cool trio. So, we're starting with Nightcrawler, and there is also a Limber node, and I have less than 5 parties here. So, I need to do my best here. So, because my Iceman is awakened, I have a Cold Snap on, uh, on Nightcrawler, and when you have a Cold Snap, it prevents any evasion, so this is my time to switch his mode to squash buckling mode, and in this mode, Nightcrawler can't evade, and also you see his recoil, so this fight is going to be pretty easy from this point. And if you're fighting debuff immune Nightcrawler, stun immune Nightcrawler, you need to be very patient. Take your time, let him to dash back, and then try to attack him, and <laughs> pray that he will change his mode. And if he is awakened, uh, the more switching modes will be much faster, so it will be much easier to beat. You see, very very easy champion once you switch the mode. And here we're moving on to this cool guy, it's Agent Venom. And Agent Venom, the only thing you need to know about him is that he can shrug stun very very fast. So when you parry him, just wait for a second just to see if you shrug it off, because if you have one power bar and you will try to attack him, he can shrug it off and trigger with his special, and if it will trigger bleed, you will probably die in the Alliance War. So you also, in this path, I don't have many parries, so I need to intercept a lot and uh, bait specials. And Starlord is very great champion for this specific path. Uh, just need less hits to kill the opponent and as you can see here very fast fight 32 hits and he's down and we're moving on to spider-man so on previous war it was rank 4 spider-man 5 star and he managed at the end kill my iceman and this is a 4 star rank 5 star uh, spider-man he can evade a lot but I have a cold snap on him and here I will play very aggressive and I will also try to use this power gain because I have ice armor and power gain just feed his power. I will try to push him over one power bar and also another important thing. I will try try to keep this uh, cold snap on him at any cost. So he managed to cut me here. I'm still learning to evade his specials and sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I miscalculate the time. I'm trying to see how I can do it much better than usual, but you see the f this specific fight is going pretty good, I am trying to keep a distance and here I evade it like a pro and he's down. Very fast fight. And now we are moving on to the main show. This is Diba Femun Magic, and the only champion who can handle her, it's around 4 also magic, is Voodoo. I know I can't put a uh, poison on her or power drain her, but I can put an odd combo on her. And odd combo will reduce the chances for limbo. And this is what I'm trying to do. Also, this regeneration will help me to put an odd combo much faster to overcome first limbo. And this fight is started pretty good, but it will be a little bit a longer fight uh, than usual because this magic is not so responsive. So. She gained one power bar and luckily no limbo. And here, after special, she just managed to evade. And now I triggered my special and limbo. But luckily, I have an odd combo on her. And you can see here, limbo did nothing to me. 
and now I need to bait special and she is getting closer to her level her three power bars and luckily she triggered so now I decided to do shallow evade so it just means just evade before she gets to you and this way it will be much easier uh, it won't create a dexterity so the fight paste is not so fast like previous fights because I'm trying to play safe here I probably will, will time out so I need my wood in, in maximum health so I'm keeping all my specials on an odd combo just to make sure that brother Daniel just on her side and he will help me to prevent the limbo as you can see no limbo for now and now first limbo and it, it not always takes my health so this is also a cool thing and now the pace is much uh, much faster here she triggered her specials and this is what I'm trying to do just push her over one power bar bait special and go to attack her and another limbo so it's two limbos and only two limbos took 50% of my health so it's pretty crazy and I don't want to imagine uh, rank 5 5 star magic she's probably going to be insane so going to be fun the wars are going to be fun 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 so but they will have 45 seconds till the end and she still has uh, a lot of health I really like the percentage uh, that they put on uh, the game it, uh, it helps but also annoys so you can see the percentage and it just takes all the focus and here I'm managing just to crit very very high with my specials only 28% left so soon she will be an assassin's range and I should do more damage so the fight is going pretty well here and another limbo three limbos guys all she did all she need to have is only three limbos uh, <laughs> limbo bimbo so I timed out and but I managed to do a lot of damage so I decided to bring Voodoo again to try to finish her and you will see here she managed to intercept me I thought I will be intercepting her but see Wuru managed to take almost 100,000 K for 1,000 uh, from her so pretty cool now I'm bringing my Iceman just to finish the job another great thing about Iceman that his frostbites are not a debuff so you can put frostbites on a debuff immune champion and you will see here how magic can just take my health so this is the last fight in this war we lost this war uh, we decided not to push because we have missing two players but it was fun war our opponents did a great exploration uh, kill two bosses if you like this video click here to subscribe like share and see you soon guys on my next video